All right. Good evening, good evening to all of you. Stephanie, Ivania, and Sandra. It's nice, nice to see you here again. I hope you had a great day today. It's almost good evening. Good evening, good evening. It's almost weekend. And that's that's amazing. Okay. I will share my screen here. Okay. Ah, but first of all. Okay. We prepare here. Okay. The screen. All right, perfect. I have a game here for you in order to um, keep learning. Okay. Tengo acá un juego para que podamos seguir aprendiendo. Okay. Eh, yeah, tell me. Stephanie, you were talking? No? Okay. No. Okay, okay. Okay, awesome. Here we have um, a game. Toca cada caja una por una para abrirlas y descubrir el elemento que hay en su interior. Okay. So, vamos a elegir de estos. Por ejemplo, eh, vamos a ir por orden, ¿ok? Primero, Stephanie. Y luego, ahí va a aparecer un animal. Entonces, ella tiene que mencionar el nombre del animal que aparezca ahí. Ok. Let's do it. Just one number, Stephanie. Seven. Seven. Ok. Seven. What is the name of Hi, this animal? Puppy. Puppy. <laughs> Perfect. You're right. Thank you so much. Let's see. Ivania, it's your turn. Four. Four. Okay, all right. Which okay, is the rabbit. answer? Rabbit. Perfect, you're right. That is a rabbit. Now you, Sandra. One. Okay. Let's see. What is that? Mm, I think lizard. Sorry, thank you. Excellent. Okay, it's your turn, Fatima. Five. Five, all right. Number five, it is a? Fish. Fish. Fish, excellent. That was a good one. Okay, Yancy, are you there? Can you choose one number, please? Three. A two, okay, let's see. Uh -huh. It is a turtle, lizard, or bird. Choose one. Eh, la C. All bird. right. Bird. Thank you so much. Um, let's try again, Stephanie. Just one more time. Okay, and three. Three, all right. Hamster. Huh? Hamster, right? Okay. Uh, let's see. Ivania, can you choose one, please? Six. Six. What is that? Turtle. Turtle. Thank you so much. Okay, we have the last one. Uh, let's see. It's your turn, Sandra. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Kitten. Kitten, right? It's a kitten. A baby cat. All right, we have 100, I think. Perfect. Okay. Let's see another game. We have here can, 
true or false? Let's see if it is true or false. Los elementos pasan volando a gran velocidad. Veamos cuántos puedes acertar antes de que acabe el tiempo. Ok. Dice eh, verdadero o falso. Eh, true or false. So, you, you can answer. You can uh, open your microphone. Ok. And answer. Three, two, one. Birds can sing. It is true or false? True. 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 All right. Birds can kick. Patear. False, right? All right. Tigers can't fly. False. True. True, right? True. They can't. All right. Cats can catch, eh, atrapar. True? Is that true? All right. True, they can catch. Fish can swim. True. true, right? It is obvious. Tigers can't swim. True. That's true. By, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Tigers can't swim. All oh, right. <laughs> gorilas can't climb. Escalar. Los gorilas no pueden escalar. That's false. They, they always climb. Frogs can jump. That's true. True. Frogs can run. False. False. That's false. Yeah. Fish can throw, tirar. See, it is false, right? <laughs> okay, horses can run. That's true. Gorillas can fly. True. All right, true. Let's see. Yay. We have 11. Mostrar respuestas. Let's see. Tigers can't swim. Ok. Al parecer ellos pueden nadar. All right. It is false. That was false. They can swim. Ok, perfect. Perfect. Ok, nuestro tema... Sigue siendo can, and can, perfect. Y ahora lo vamos a mezclar, vamos a hacer una mezcla con las WH question or WH word. Um, for example, we have here some activities, some abilities. Estas las veíamos ayer, estas habilidades. No, podemos mezclar las eh, WH las palabras con WH con can y podemos preguntar muchísimas cosas estas solas solamente son como la, los ejemplos ok I can who wants to read this one the first one volunteer 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 Leer esta, solamente esta, la primera. Where can she practice soccer? Where can she practice soccer? Thank you so much. Perfect. Y el significado, pues, de esta oración o de esta pregunta es dónde ella puede practicar fútbol. Ok, en vez de nosotros poner do or does, tenemos acá can. Where can... Luego, subject, she, or you, or, or he, I, the verb, and the complement. Okay, we have the next one here. Who wants to read it? Next one. The second one. When can you print the document? 
Ok, that's right. ¿Dónde puedes imprimir el documento? Ok, ¿dónde lo puedes imprimir? All right, we have a different one here. Who wants to read the third, the third one? Who can play the violin? Thank you so much. The violin. Who can play the violin? En este caso no tenemos sujeto. Nos vamos de un solo al verbo porque eh, nos está preguntando quién. Así que no sabemos quién. Who can play the, the violin? No sabemos quién. Estamos esperando una respuesta. Um, we have here what time? A volunteer who wants to read this one? What time can she send the CV? The CV, thank you so much. ¿A qué horas puede enviar su currículum? Vitae, ¿ok? ¿A qué horas can she send the CV, right? Ok. We have here another one. Who wants to read it? What? What, what? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What can you teach at the school? At the school. Thank you so much. Okay. We have here how. Esta, esta pregunta es muy, muy necesaria. ¿Por qué? Porque es una manera también de poder preguntar en inglés, ¿cómo podemos decir algo? Entonces, cuando nosotros no, no, no nos acordamos o no sabemos cómo podemos decirlo, we can use this question. For example, how can I say libro in English? We say book, right? It would be the answer. How can I say libro in English? So, el esqueleto de nuestra oración sería where, when, lo que les explicaba ayer. Eh, que tenemos nuestra WH. Question o palabra con WH. Y nos está preguntando, interrogando algo más a detalle. ¿A dónde? ¿Cuándo? ¿A qué horas? Y tenemos can. Lo contrario de... De una oración y una pregunta, la diferencia es que primero en las preguntas va primero el auxiliar. Y luego el subject, right? Do you remember that? We, we switch the verb and the auxiliar. En las preguntas siempre, siempre tendremos eh, la, el auxiliar adelante. So we can continue with the subject. And the verb, and then the complement. All right. We have, we have to answer these questions. For example, where can she practice soccer? ¿Cómo podríamos eh, darle respuesta a esta pregunta? Let's see. Yes, I do. All right. Yes, I do. Oh, let's see. Where? But nos está preguntando dónde, right? Tenemos que responder a dónde. Where can she practice soccer? She can practice soccer. At the park. En el parque. You see? Primero acá en la pregunta va el auxiliar. Can. Y luego va she. Pero ya en las preguntas positivas. E incluso también negativas. Tenemos primero el sujeto. Y luego el auxiliar. You see? Ok. She can practice soccer at the park. 
¿Y por qué practice here? Porque es lo que nos está preguntando. ¿Ok? ¿Dónde practicar fútbol? ¿Ok? So, she can practice soccer. Y ya decimos el lugar. Ok. When can you print the document? When. ¿Cómo podríamos responder? Let's see. Do you have an idea for this? I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Thank you. I can. On Saturday. Yeah. And don't forget the, the verb. I can print. print. Uh -huh. And then you can say the document. On Saturday, you said, right? Saturday. All right. Thank you. I can print a document on Saturday. Nos está preguntando cuándo? Pues el sábado. Thank you so much. The next one says, all right, let's see. The next one, who can play the violin? How can we answer that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can. Podría ser she can. All right. Sí. Yeah, that's that's correct. She can play the violin. And if you want to be more specific, si ustedes quieren ser más específicos, pueden decir, uh, just for, just one example, Elena, right? Elena can play the violin. Or Juan, George, Carlos. All right, she can play the violin. Thank you so much. That was a good one. What time can she send the CV? What would be our, our answer? She can send the, the CV at, uh, for example, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Thank you so much. She can send the CV uh, at 7, you said, right? 7 a.m. She can send the CV at 7 a.m. Yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. What can you teach at the school? What? It could be math. Science, sports, eh, deportes. I, I can teach uh, math. Mm -hmm. eh, you can teach, right? You can teach. Oh, is what can you? Is I can. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. I can teach math at the school. You can add that. At the school. All right, perfect. That was a good one. Let's see. What here? And how can I say libro in English? What would be our answer? You can see book. You can say. A book, right? Book. All right. Book. Thank you. Okay, do you have a question so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Easy, right? Easy peasy. Ok, si tienen alguna pregunta más adelante, ustedes pueden preguntar. Let's see. We have an exercise here. Can and can't. All right, perfect. It is a listening. Tenemos habilidades y cosas que, que no podemos hacer. Así que dice, eh, mira el cuadro. Y escucha si es falso o verdadero. Ok, vamos a escuchar cinco eh, personas 
Y nosotros tenemos que ir poniendo si es verdadero. Bueno, si, let's see. Acá dice que Abraham no puede nadar, pero sí puede tocar el teclado y, pre y no puede preparar una hamburguesa. So, let's, let's practice. Escuchemos el audio. Oh, let's see. I think you can't listen. Oh, yes. Can't swim or be... Number one. Abraham can't swim or prepare a hamburger, but he can play the piano. You think it's true or it is false? Oh, true. True? Okay, all right. It's true. Perfect. Liz and Jen. Number two. Liz and Jane can swim, but they can't play the piano or prepare a hamburger. That's true or false? False. 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 All right, that's false. Thank you. Let's see, Stephanie. Number okay. three. Stephanie can't swim or play the piano, but she can prepare a hamburger. True. Huh? True. Mm. All right. True. Perfect. Number four. Ah, oh, let's see. Four. Number four. Brittany can swim and play the piano, but she can't prepare a hamburger. False. True. All right, false or true? Okay, one more time. Number four, Brittany can swim and play the piano, but she can't prepare a hamburger. False. False. All right. Perfect. False. Number five. Richard can't swim, play the piano, or prepare a hamburger. All right. False. False. Are you sure? False. Okay. One more time. Number five, Richard can't swim, play the piano, or prepare a hamburger. Oh, perfect, thank you. Finish. Let's see our score. And we have 10 out of 10. That's awesome. Perfect. Muy bien. Bueno, podemos diferenciar súper, súper bien eh, can and can't, right? Okay, I'm proud of that. We have an audio eh, in the platform. Así que tenemos ese audio, lo vamos a escuchar. Se trata acerca de las carreras en Estados Unidos. Ok, y de diferentes deportes. ¿En cuánto tiempo lo han logrado? ¿Dónde es? Y, ¿Y cuánto ha sido el récord? Así que pongamos atención porque luego tenemos unas preguntas que rellenar. Race the U.S. Everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about four unique American races. You'll also develop skills in reading for specific information. Race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. 
Can you? Take eight or ten days to race across America, from Irvine, California, to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900-mile, 4,667-kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For eight to ten days, racers can sleep only about three hours each day. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Downriver Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers, in just two hours. This is the longest downriver race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers, through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. All right, perfect. Do you want to listen to it one more time? Or Hi, it, everyone. It is okay. Okay. One more time. One more time. All right. Perfect. In this class, you'll read an article about four unique American races. You'll also develop skills in reading for specific information. Race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Take 8 or 10 days to race across America from Irvine, California, to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900-mile, 4,667-kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For 8 to 10 days, racers can sleep only about 3 hours each day. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Downriver Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers, in just two hours. This is the longest downriver race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles. 1,850 kilometers through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. Hi, everyone. All right. Now listen to it. And we have the exercise here. Eh, el ejercicio también está en la plataforma, así que Y cuando puedan, bueno, cuando terminemos, pueden tomarle una captura o ir anotando, ¿ok? Eh, porque así ya lo pueden llenar en la plataforma. All right. The Empire State Building Run Up. El primero. Ok. ¿Alguien se recuerda dónde fue esta carrera? Ah, espérenme, 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 espérenme. All right. We have... Here, climb the stairs of New York City. Ok, el, el edificio Empire State, ellos lo, lo escalaron eh, grada por grada, ok. So, dice que eran 1,575 eh, gradas o pasos. All right. Or... 320 meters. Luego dice, Winners can reach the top in just 10 or 11 minutes. Ellos pueden alcanzar 
eh, lo más alto en 10 u 11 minutos. ¿Será que nosotros podríamos? All right. Ok, ¿dónde fue? Let's see. Climb the stairs of... New York City. New York City. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. New York. New York City. All right, let me see here. The distance. What was the distance? 320 meters. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. 320 meters. Let's see. <clears throat> And the winning time. 10 to 11 minutes. Yeah, thank you. 10 to 11 minutes. Perfect. Thank you so much. We have here the second one. Race across America. Okay, esta es eh, in, en bicicleta. Dice toma 10, eh, 8 o 10 días. Para cruzar América. Imagínense desde Irving, California, to Savannah, Georgia. O sea, de un estado a, a, a otros. Cruzando, dice, eh, 4,667 kilómetros. En una carrera de bicicleta. Ok, can you imagine? 4,667 kilómetros. En esta carrera no hay descansos. Solamente pueden descansar tres, let's see, tres horas al día. And let's see. Por siete, no, perdón, ocho o diez días. All right. Race across America. Where were the race? Where was, where was the race? California. Yeah, let's see. California mm -hmm. and Georgia, mm -hmm. right? California to Georgia. Right. To Georgia. And the distance was? 4,000. 4,000. 4,400, I think. 4,467 kilometers. Teacher. Yeah, let's tell me. Can we say 4,665 uh, kilometers? 65, why? 4,665, uh, 67 kilometers. Let's see. Repeat it one more time, please. Can we say 4,667 kilometers? Where is it? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. 40, no, let's see. 4,000. 4,000. You, yeah, you can say it like that. 4,667. Solo agarrando Parece... estas, ajá, dos, como diciéndolo en dos partes, right? Yeah. Yes, the last time I talked with uh, some people and they told me uh, not 4,000, they told me, for example, 4,677, uh, uh, sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can say it like that. Or, for example, we are in... 20, 20, 20, no, yeah, let's see, 2023, 2023, estamos en el 2023, o cuando estábamos en el 2020, en la pandemia, en las noticias, decían 2020, ok, 2020. Yes, and, and, and I listened, uh, for example, in this case, 2023. Mm -hmm. Yeah, en este caso... 
Podríamos decirlo de las dos maneras, ¿ok? And it is certainly okay. Yeah, this is the question because uh, uh, it's around 10 days I, I, I listen this way to say. Okay. All right, Hello. perfect. You are practicing your English out of the class. That's yeah. awesome. All right, perfect. Thank you, Bernardino. Sí, gracias por hacer la aclaración. Ahora eh, ya, ya lo sabemos, right? Y los, nuestros compañeros también pueden aprender. Ok, winning times. El hey. tiempo. Uh, ten days. Eight to ten days. That's right. Ok, down river race. Bien. A kayak, I think it is the name of this sport. Kayak. Que van río abajo. Eh, con la fuerza del río. Y ellos también se van empujando. Y esta es una carrera también. Entonces, eh, dice que los ganadores pueden hacer 41.5 kilómetros en solo dos horas. Ok. Eh, y este es el, ¿sí? la carrera más larga río abajo de los Estados Unidos. Una persona, un bote, toma el, el reto, dice. All right. Where was the race? Where? Where was the race? ¿Dónde fue la carrera? Arkansas. Arkansas. That's right. Arkansas. Thank you so much, Arkansas. <clears throat> It's like that, Arkansas. Let's see. Yeah, Arkansas. And then we have the distance. The distance. 41.5. 41. Okay. Kilometers. And what time? When Two hours. Time? Two hours. Are you sure? Two hours, let's see. Yeah, two hours, right? All right. Eh, tenemos acá también como la, la carrera de los perros. Okay. En la nieve. Van siendo jalados por los perros. Eh, where was the, the race? Where was the race? Only possible Alaska. in Alaska. Alaska. That's true. Alaska. The distance was 1850. All right. See? Kilometers, right? Okay, and we can say 1850. Hey, See? No, 1850 kilometers. Alejando dos y dos. 1850 kilometers. The winning oh. time. Do you remember the winning time? It's nine to twelve days. To twelve days. Cargando. Nine to twelve. Okay. All right, perfect. We have completed this chart. Thank you so much for your participation. So we have here another exercise. I'm going to keep practicing. All right. Bien, voy a, a pasarles por el chat el link 
y lo van a, a practicar ustedes y luego mandan al grupo que tenemos en WhatsApp, mandan la captura al final, ¿ok? De su nota. Ok, solamente eh, explicar qué dice. Con, los ver, con el verbo play va a ir los deportes que sean con pelota redonda. Ball sports. ¿Ok? Play. It could be soccer and basketball. All right? Go con los deportes que eh, terminan con ING. For example, swimming. Only that, I think, only that. And do, we have here yoga. And karate. Do yoga o karate. Ok, tenemos que tener eh, ese cuidado. Play, go, and do. For example, on Monday, I... ¿Cómo sería el primero? I... Play soccer. Play soccer, right? All right, the second one. Just to be sure. On Tuesday, I... Go swimming. Go swimming. Ajá, uh -huh. remember? Go swimming y termina con ING. Go swimming. All right. And then you have to order, to put the, the, or, the words in order. Eh, y estas las pueden dejar en blanco. No hay problema porque es como nosotros responderíamos esta pregunta, pero mmm, digamos que esta parte no cuenta. Así que solamente podrían ordenar este. Ok. I will paste the link here in the chat. In order to, you can practice. Right, and let me know when you're finished, please. Voy a estar acá, por si tienen alguna pregunta. Y ahí les he dejado el link. All right. Ok, Carito dice si puedo compartir el link. Uh, let me see. I think I can. No tengo WhatsApp acá. No sé si alguien tiene, está en, en la computadora o en el celular que pueda pasar el link por el grupo también. Please, can you confirm, please? Right. Si pueden ayudar a la compañera, please. Yo sigo esperando. Eh, maybe Stephanie or Ivania. Si pueden compartir el link, porfa, en el chat eh, grupal, en el, en el de WhatsApp. Please. All right, thank you. Thank you, Vania. Gracias, gracias. Ahí, thank you, Stephanie. Ahí tenemos ya el link. Okay. Let's do it.
Teacher. Eh, los deportes, el último es karate. karate. Uh -huh. Yeah, karate. Okay. Okay, all right.
teacher. I'm here. Uh, when I finish the page, uh, ask me what do you want to do? Check my answers or email my answer to my teacher? Um, check my answer. Okay. Okay. All right. Tenemos acá en el grupo ya las respuestas de Ivania, de Stephanie. Thank you so much. Okay, in the first one, I thought it was it was soccer. But maybe it is football. It's the same thing, okay? La diferencia de soccer and football eh, en algunos lugares es que soccer es el fútbol que jugamos acá. Y fútbol le dicen al fútbol americano. Correcto. Entonces, eh, la pelota de allí, que aparece ahí, pues es de soccer, right? Pero al parecer quizás era fútbol. But it is okay. And then you have all the answers correct. I write bad swimming. Wrong, right? Swimming. Yeah. <laughs> That was With wrong, but it M. is okay. It was missing the M. <laughs> yep. All right. Como diríamos en español, se comió la M. Let's see. La letra, right? La letra. It's missing the M. All right. Thank you so much. Super, super bien. You are ready for the exam. For tomorrow, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, I think some that is missing and Fatima. Teacher, tell me. Entonces, football es para fútbol americano uh -huh. y soccer es para el fútbol que jugamos acá acá a eso ah. se le dice soccer yeah thank you okay thank you alright perfect estoy viendo acá sus respuestas sí <laughs> All right. En la, las últimas imágenes solamente faltó, pues, o sea, la escritura, right? Ahí error de dedo. 
error de dedo nada más. All right, that's right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Sus respuestas han sido muy, muy buenas, muy válidas, la verdad. And thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, let me see. Presentation. Okay. We have here. Uh, how often do you eat? All right. In this case, we will practice speaking. Vamos a seguir practicando nuestro, nuestro hablar. Ok, así que vamos a preguntarnos entre sí qué tan frecuente comemos esto. Y su respuesta va a ser personal. All right. For example, it says, does your partner eat, ever eat these snacks? Snacks son como esto, ¿verdad? Los popcorn, los cookies, chocolate. Eh, ok, for example, I want to, to listen to Fátima López. Are you there, Fátima? Ok, maybe you're not there. Sí. Ah, yeah, you're there. Ok, yo le voy a hacer la pregunta a usted. Por ejemplo, I just listen, eh, how often do you eat popcorn? Y usted va a responder con un adverb frequency. O frequency adverb. I hardly ever eat popcorn. Thank you so much. Now you choose one classmate and ask them. Elija un, a un compañero y pregunte. How often do you eat? And you say number two. Eh, Ivania, no sé si está. Okay, yeah, she's there. Okay, how often do you eat cookies? I sometimes cook cookies. All right, you sometimes eat I'm cookies. It's yeah. cookies. It's cookies. Oh, because if you cook, you can bake. La puede hornear. Do you bake, Ivania? No. All right. No, Perfect. No, you only no. eat it. You only eat it. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Ivania, choose a, a classmate. Bernardino. Right. How often... Do you drink soda? Okay. Drink soda. I usually eat chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Uh, and how often do you eat? Do, do you drink soda? Okay. Ella quiere preguntar eso. Okay. Ah, sorry, soda. <laughs> yeah, soda. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I Always a uh, drink soda. All right, you're a okay. you're a soda lover. Un amante yeah, de soda. But it's it's really? bad for my stomach, but yeah, it's so bad. <laughs> I don't like soda. <laughs> Ivania, you don't like it. I don't like soda. Really? Yes. Wow. But tea? Do you drink tea? Te? Um, yes. Uh, yes, I drink. Okay, and what do um? Let's see. Mm, for example, what do you prefer? Tea or juice? Water. Water, <laughs> really? Yeah. What a healthy person are you are? Qué qué persona tan saludable. Okay, debemos aprender. <laughs> that's that's awesome. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, we have bananas. Okay, we almost finished. We have bananas. Let's see, uh, Bernardino, okay. it's your turn. Okay, I will do. Uh, Sandra, how often do you eat bananas? I sometimes sometime eat bananas. All right. Just one person. 
Mm. Stephanie, how often do you eat potato chips? Mm, I eat hardly ever potato chips. All right. You hardly ever eat them. Okay, Stephanie, just one person. Jensi. Jensi, are you there? Maybe Jensi is not there. You can ask me. Okay, ask me. Okay. How often do you eat apples? Let's see. I usually eat apples. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you all of you. Eh, mañana, no se pierdan la clase de mañana, por favor, o luego ven la, la, el video, la grabación, porque mañana vamos a estar haciendo un resumen de todo lo que hemos visto para que podamos salir súper bien en el examen, eh, para que yo les voy a dar ahí unos truquitos para que lo tomen en cuenta, muy, muy en cuenta en su examen y que puedan eh, pasar Súper bien, ok, así que no se pierdan eh, la clase del día de mañana. All right, bye bye, it was a pleasure. Bye bye and see you tomorrow. Bye bye, bye, -bye. see you. Bye bye, good night.